everyone, it's Kim from Alternate Universe and Art Equals Happy. It is so nice to have you guys here. This is actually the beginning of a very special series that I am super excited to share with you guys. It is called Friends of Alternate Universe. And basically what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be sharing with you a little bit about some of the products and brands that we stock in store. and. If I can wrangle them into sending me a little video, I'm going to be sharing with you a little video from them just for my customers and my amazing friends that support the shop. That's you. <laughs> so first of all, we have Emma from Woolly Mammoth Fiber Company. She is an incredible natural dyer that goes and sources out bases that are very unique, local and supports British and Irish and um, the UK mills. And oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you guys, I can't even. Um, <laughs> we found each other in university. We were going to Camberwell College of the Arts, London, name drop. I was studying illustration, she was studying photography, and we had a mutual friend. I lived in dorms for the first year while I was doing my foundation, and I had a really amazing dorm mate, and he was from Northern Ireland, and he knew Emma from like family friends and hometown stuff because um where they live is like a super small community. And he was like, mm, my friend Emma, kind of wants to learn how to knit and hang out and I think you two would get along um so he like hooked us up <laughs> and we met and I we just got on really well um I used to host these little craft groups um I think I called it Camberwell Craft Club uh when I was there at uni it, they were very small it was like there were probably maybe 10 people that knew about it. Sometimes we would do it at my house in my flat. Um, I had a really nice setup there. It was very inspiring. Um, sometimes we would do it at a pub nearby, which uh, my cousin worked at. Um, there, the lighting in there was always super red. So any photos I have from that time are just like red and black. It was really funny. But yeah, we used to have loads of fun. I remember teaching her how to crochet. And I think, I can't remember if I taught her how to spin, but I know that we were dying together because I was super into natural dyes. I was like, this is the future. I'm going to open a natural dyeing company. Everything's going to be hand spun, locally sourced. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> I had like the big dreams. Um, I quickly found out that natural dyeing is very exhausting um and with chronic fatigue i mean dying in general if you're not just doing in the microwave is very like a physical labor you have to like whew, man if you go and watch some of the videos on emma's channel you will see just how much work it is um but yeah it's totally worth it like um i remember she did a project where i think she like took photographs of certain locations in London and she also foraged plants there and then she dyed, she made like a map with different dyed areas. I can't remember. She's probably rolling her eyes because I probably got that wrong. But um, I just remember it being really cool and her bringing me little bits of yarn to like show. Um, it was a very exciting time. I remember going over to her house, her little flat with her housemate who I think now does the logo for her. Um, anyway really good times down in London. Um, when I moved back to Bristol, she was one of the people that I was like really, really sad to leave, but um, she headed back to Northern Ireland anyway. So oh, I can't wait to go and visit her once lockdown is lifted. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to go hang out with her. And she has come down here a couple, once, a couple of times. I can't remember. I think maybe once. The great thing about Emma is that every time we see each other or chat, it's like, no time has passed. Um, it's like it was just yesterday that we were sitting around my table in Camberwell just chatting away. Um, so that's really wonderful. Anyway, I need to show you some of her product. <laughs> yeah, she came down for a trunk show um, a little while ago. I have a lot of footage from that weekend actually. I'm thinking about making a separate vlog for it, but I will put a couple of clips from that at the end of this video if you want to see it. So as some of you know, we have a motto here at Alternate Universe. That is, everything in store has to fit under these categories. Natural, recycled, local, and ethical. 
Sometimes they only fit under one or two of those. Sometimes we get lucky and they hit all four of those points. Emma is one of those amazing designers that hits three out of our four categories. It is natural, natural, natural fibers, natural dyes, beautiful natural colors. It is local. Everything comes from the UK. That means less air miles, which is awesome. It also means supporting local farmers. And last but not least, it is ethical. She cares so much about where the yarn comes from, what she's using, how much waste she has, all that kind of stuff. So you know with good conscience that you can buy the yarn and you're not going to be hurting the planet or hurting a human or an animal that lives on the planet. So that's super awesome. Thank you, Emma. So this is her most popular base. As far as I know, this is her natural sock base. It is a hundred percent wool and it is high twist, which means you don't need any nylon in these suckers to make really strong, awesome, awesome socks. Her natural dyed colors are beautiful. These are the sort of colors we have in stock at the moment. She is just so, so clever. As you can see, beautiful, beautiful logo. Um, beautiful colors. I'll show you the rest of them here. So gorgeous. We have more than just this, but I thought this would give you a good understanding. Um, this apricot, I just die. Every time I go over to the corner of the shop that has this, I'm like, I want to make something out of this apricot. It's so gorgeous. And then this one here is her little like speckles. And I think she did this by putting plants directly onto the yarn um, so that they left a little imprint, which is magical. So yeah, she sources this from Oh, it's amazing. So it's 50% BFL, 50% Cheviot, sourced, spun, and made in the UK, and the fiber origin is UK. It is fingering weight, dyed in Northern Ireland, and this particular one here is Snow Days. So the thing, she's so clever about breeds of sheep. She knows what they do, and if she doesn't know, she learns. She researches and goes and finds out, because every breed of sheep has a speciality. Um, so the BFL in this gives it the strength, gives it the softness, and the Cheviot like holds it together. Uh, so gorgeous. Um, she got this, as far as I know, spun up specially for Woolly Mammoth. It's amazing. It's so hard to find 100% wool sock yarn that will actually hold up to the test of time, and this does it. I was over the moon when she came out with this it is my little dreams my dreams when I was at uni of you know having amazing yarn this is my literally my dream come true <laughs> she's incredible so here are three different examples of some other stuff that she does she's constantly getting like limited edition small runs of stuff so it's worth following her on Instagram and keeping up with her updates. So this one here is an Aran weight yarn. It is 100% Shetland wool and it is source spun and made in the UK. So this here is a gorgeous Shetland and it is a light pinky, like oh, soft rose. It's so gorgeous. The color is called Peony. We have quite a few skeins of this in stock actually. So if you are looking for an Aran weight jumper and you are maybe a slightly smaller person, this would be perfect for that. Um, otherwise, like it would be so good for hats or scarves or something. She also does like, as I said, limited edition runs. So this is a Wensleydale DK and this is a BFL and Gotland four ply. Oh my gosh, the luster on these, you can just, you can just tell that they are different breeds. They feel different. The dye takes to each base slightly differently. So it is so difficult to get a repeatable colorway with natural dyes because the type of water that you use changes the color, the type of year that it is <laughs> changes the color, the type of plants, all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, she's really good at getting colors that are super close um, to each other, but always make sure when you're buying from an indie dyer that you alternate skeins or buy a whole bunch of one color in one go because it's going to be really difficult to get that again 
you guys probably know that already. I have one more thing to share with you before I pass you over to Emma and she can say a little hi. Um, and that is actually a finished object I have out of her yarn. So I have a sock, a pair of socks actually. And for those of you that have been watching me for a long time, you will know how rare it is for me to actually finish a project. I am that kind of person that just loves to cast on a new project whenever I feel like it. So these here I started um, when she sent me some samples for the trunk show, we put a little display in the window and I got to crack a skein open. I, I might've actually bought this in one of her updates. I can't remember, but it is her natural sock base. And I knitted these to fit my foot because obviously something this gorgeous couldn't just be a sample. I had to be able to wear them around and I've worn them so much. And we've chucked them in the washing machine on a wool wash and they are still living their best life um there is a little bit of pilling here as happens with most 100 percent wools oh man but it is so so good um i am in love with these socks i did a fun little like ribby icicle thing on the top there uh, just to sort of show off the colors, but it's actually a pretty long sock and I actually had some leftovers I got big feet. Let me tell you, but um, there was still a little bit left over from the hundred grams. So it goes a long way They're gorgeous. They feel amazing. I might actually just go and put them on <laughs> Right now once I finish filming. But anyway without further ado Let me introduce you to Emma um, these little clips I've asked our amazing makers to send me are real life. I haven't asked them to be Instagram perfect or anything like that. We wanna see behind that here at Alternate Universe and just generally my philosophy in life is that nobody's perfect. And yeah, okay, being Instagram perfect is really pretty to look at, but it can kind of get overwhelming when we compare ourselves or we see, you know, so many people with so many perfect lives and then we look around and we see the mess behind the camera. <laughs> so I've asked them to just send me totally candid little clips of their life and a little greeting. Um, and I have also asked them if they could tell me something that they like about the shop and why they continue to support us. So you've heard from me about why I love Wooly Mammoth. So now let's hear from Emma. Emma here. I'm just coming on to say a massive hello to all of Kim's uh, customers and friends and family. I'll maybe just show you around my studio. I've actually just finished packing a shop update from two nights ago and I'm wrecked. So be under no illusion, I am not dying any yarn today at all. Um, so I will show you what's going on in the studio. So it's not looking too tidy, but not too messy. I've got my yarn prepped for Monday, although might not even dye yarn on Monday. And Rufus, Rufus, where are you? Rufus, come here. I bet he's lying on the bed. Let's go find Rufus. Oh, oh, what are you doing there? Yeah, what are you up to, wee Rui? Hmm? Oh, <laughs> that leg. So I think that you should go and visit um, uh, Alternate Universe because it has amazing customer service and um, there's always a friendly face. Rufus is stuck. They have an interesting selection of like recycled and repurposed yarn and some other interesting things as well. Um, I think Kim may have some of my yarn still. I'm not sure. And yeah, Kim is also fantastic at giving advice. So if you go into Kim's shop and you don't know how to do something, Kim will literally go out of her way 
to like coach you and help you <laughs> to get that thing knitted. Um, she'll not leave you in the lurch, um, which is amazing. So all that is to say, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your year, which let's face it, might not be wonderful. However, <laughs> I hope you can make the best of what's left of the year. And I hope you um, enjoy Kim's little video. <laughs> Thank you so much, Emma, for sharing that with us. That was so cute. Hi, Rufus. <laughs> Oh, if you guys want more of that, Emma has a YouTube channel of her own, which you can check out. She's done a couple of vlogs and they're really amazing. I've been trying to twist her arm to do Vlogmas, but I know she thinks like that's going to be way too stressful. So she said she might put up a vlog during Vlogmas. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, she also does some really nice Instagram stories. And of course, if you just want to go and drool over her a yarn, please do that. I will put all of those links in the description below. Um, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps YouTube show our video to more people. It means it tells me that you like what we're making, which means I'll probably make more of the same kind of thing. And it's just a nice warm fuzzy feeling when I see loads of people giving me thumbs ups. <laughs> um, feel free to comment down below, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. But uh, most importantly, be kind to each other and have a really fantastic day. Thank you again, Emma, for participating in Friends of Alternate Universe. Bye guys. Oh my gosh, I just realized I put my lipstick on and didn't check my teeth. Okay. Because it got the little red square. square and it looks okay. I'm in frame. Yeah. Okay. Good. Brilliant. Thank you. So this wasn't, I've got big ass feet. Actually, it's not recycled, is it? There's no recycling going on. What else did I forget? I think that's it. I think that's it. And, uh, yeah. Just, that was awkward. <laughs>